In this demonstration we're just going to have a look at an overview of the enhanced session mode. So Hyper-V uses a virtual machine connection application to connect the virtual machines by using RDP and until we got 2012 R2 virtual machine connection provided only basic redirection of the virtual machine screen keyboard and mouse so similar to a KVM. With this enhanced session mode what we now get is we now get the ability to have devices redirected such as printers, drives, smart cards, audio, other plug and play devices. We get shared clipboard, enhanced copy. We also get folder redirection. And to do this, we use the remote desktop services component. So the user must sign into the virtual machine. Remote desktop users group membership is required and it's enabled at the Hyper-V virtual machine connection and virtual machine level. Guest operating system support is required though and we do require either Windows Server 2012 R2 or Windows 8.1 and it's available also only when the virtual machine is running. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come into Hyper-V settings. In Hyper-V settings what we're going to do is come down to our enhanced session mode policy. We're going to allow enhanced session mode and we're going to click OK. Then what we'll do here is we'll just launch up a connection to LON CL1. So we'll double click on this and what you can see it brings me into my connect to LON CL1. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on our show options. What we're going to do here is we're just going to have a quick look through here we're just going to use the one monitor, click on local resources, click on the more button here. So we've got smart cards. What we'll also do as well here is we'll just allow all drives to be passed through as well. As you can see, we've also got other support plug and play devices as well. So we'll click OK at this point here. Click connect and it now connects me through the virtual machine. Because my monitor is actually set to a higher resolution, it's now using the integrated services here. So we've cut off a little bit of the Windows screen in this screencast. But what we're going to do here is just log in as administrator. So it's now logging me in. So we've got Windows up and running. What I'll do now is I'll just launch up Windows Explorer. Within Windows Explorer, we can now see F on LON host 1, C on LON host 1, which is my Hyper-V host. We can also see D on LON host 1 as well. And what I'll now do is I'll just copy a file from my Hyper-V host and just paste it into this Windows desktop. So all I'll do here is I'll just launch Windows Explorer on my Hyper-V host. Within here, all we'll do is we'll come and see colon. We'll just go to Windows. And within Windows here, what we'll do is we'll just find a file that we can copy across. So we'll just take write.exe so we'll copy that there close that down there and just on this PC here let's just go to the local C drive right click at this point here click paste and what we've now done is we've copied the file from the Hyper-V host directly into the Windows desktop and that's the end of this demonstration of using enhanced session mode thank you